The Army is now performing concept modeling and early design work for a new mobile, lethal, high-tech future lightweight tank platform able to detect and destroy a wider range of targets from farther distances, cross bridges, incinerate drones with lasers and destroy incoming enemy artillery fire, all for the 2030s and beyond. The new vehicle, now emerging purely in the concept phase, is based upon the reality that the current M1A2 SEP Abrams main battle tank can only be upgraded to a certain limited extent, senior Army officials explained. The Army's Tank Automotive Research, Development and Engineering Center, or TARDEC, is now immersed in the development of design concepts for various super high-tech tank platforms, Army and industry developers said. The extensive conceptual work, simulation and design modeling will be needed before there is any opportunity to bend metal and produce a new tank. We've used concept modeling, a senior Army official told Warrior. The new tank will emerge after the Army first fields its M1A2 SEP V4 upgraded Abrams tank in the 2020s, a more lethal Abrams variant with third-generation forward-looking infrared sensors for greater targeting range and resolution and more lethal advanced multi-purpose, or AMP ammunition combining many rounds into a single 120mm round. The AMP round will replace four tank rounds now in use. The first two are the M830, High Explosive Anti-Tank, or HEAP, round and the M830A1, Multi-Purpose Anti-Tank, or MPOT, round. The SEP V4 variant, slated to being testing in 2021, will also include new laser rangefinder technology, color cameras, integrated onboard networks, new slip rings, advanced meteorological sensors, ammunition data links and laser warning receivers. However, although Army developers often maintain that while the latest, upgraded high-tech V4 Abrams is much more advanced than the first Abrams tanks produced decades ago, there are limits to how much the existing Abrams platform can be upgraded. A lighter weight, more high-tech tank will allow for greater mobility in the future, including an ability to deploy more quickly, handle extremely rigorous terrain, integrate new weapons cross bridges inaccessible to current Abrams tanks and maximize onboard networking along with new size weight and power configurations. Although initial requirements for the future tank have yet to emerge, Army developers explained that the next generation platform will use advanced sensors and lightweight composite armor materials able to achieve equal or greater protection at much lighter weight developers plan to build inside an underbody protection from the ground up for the new platform. Army developers said certain immediate changes in manufacturing techniques could easily save at least 20% of the weight of a current 72-ton Abrams. The idea is to engineer a tank that is not only much more advanced than the Abrams in terms of sensors, networking technology, force tracking systems, and ability to control nearby drones and vastly increased firepower, but to build a vehicle with open architecture such that it can quickly accommodate new technologies as they emerge. The Abrams was first fielded with a 105mm cannon, yet built with a mind to potential future upgrades such that it could be configured to fire 120mm gun. The vehicle needs to have physical adaptability and change and growth ability for alterations as one of its premises, so it can learn things about energy and power and armor. The Army really needs to think about growth as an operational need, a senior Army official told Scout Warrior in an interview. The official said that, for example, Humvees were not built for the growth necessary to respond to the fast emerging and deadly threat of roadside bombs in Iraq. The new tank will be specifically engineered with additional space for automotive systems, people and ammunition. As computer algorithms rapidly advance to allow for greater levels of autonomy, the Abrams tank will be able to control nearby drones using its own onboard command and control networking, service developers said. Unmanned wingman type drones could fortify attacking ground forces by firing weapons, testing enemy defenses carrying suppliers or performing forward reconnaissance and reconnaissance missions while manned crews remain back at safer distances. Army officials and developers with General Dynamics Land Systems, specifically said that this kind of autonomy was already being worked on for current and future tanks. 
active protection systems are another instance of emerging technologies which will go on the latest state of the art Abrams tanks and also quite likely be used for the new tank. Using computer algorithms, fire control technology, sensors and an interceptor of some kind, active protection systems are engineered to detect, track and destroy incoming enemy fire in a matter of milliseconds. The Army is currently fast-tracking an effort to explore a number of different APS systems for the Abrams. General Dynamics Land Systems is, as part of the effort, using its own innovation to engineer an APS system which is not a bolt-on type of applique but something integrated more fully into the tank itself, company developers have told Scout Warrior. The use of space in the new vehicle, drawing upon a better allocation of size weight and electrical power will enable the new tank to accommodate better weapons, be more fuel efficient and provide greater protection to the crew. Army leaders said that less volume in the powertrain can help engineer a new platform that has less transportability challenges. While advanced Abrams tanks will be using a mobile auxiliary power unit to bring more onboard electrical power to the platform for increased targeting, command and control technologies and weapons support, mobile power is needed to sustain future systems such as laser weapons. The Army cancelled its plans for a future ground combat vehicle, largely for budget reasons. Some of the innovations, technologies and weapon systems are informing this effort to engineer a new tank for the future. Design specs, engineering, weapons and other innovations envisioned for the GCV are now being analyzed for the new tank. In particular, the new tank may use an emerging 30mm cannon weapon planned for the GCV, the ATK-built XM813. The XM813, according to Army developmental papers, is able to fire both armor-piercing rounds and air-burst rounds which detonate in the air in proximity to an enemy in the fillet, hiding behind a rock or a tree. The new tank may quite likely use a futuristic, lightweight 120mm cannon first developed years ago for the Army's now-cancelled Future Combat Systems, or FCS. FCS worked on a series of leaperhead technologies which, in many instances, continue to inform current Army modernization efforts. The FCS program developed next-generation sensors, networking, robots and a series of mobile, high-tech 27-ton manned ground vehicles, or MGVs. The MGVs included an online of sight artillery variant, reconnaissance and surveillance, infantry, medical and command and control variants, among others. One of the key vehicles in this planned future fleet was the Mounted Combat System, or MCS. The overall MGV effort was cancelled by former Defense Secretary Robert Gates in 2009 because Gates felt that the 27-ton common chassis was not sufficiently survivable enough in a modern outfield threat environment.